trying to keep a good smile on, but working through um, seeing this dynamic to go general, this is what happens. Um, narcissists are ruthless because they have a core deficit. Um, a, a, a core deficit problem. Um, so they will never feel really good about themselves. Not ever. So the way that they do feel good about themselves is to look more superior to others. And if they can really get somebody and target somebody and, and, and make them look bad, they do. And, you know, uh, it could be, you know, very much in detail. Like, for me, I'm not going to say any names, but it's coming at me from all angles. And so, okay, so first, um, I was called for help. You know, they wanted me to be there. And, well, you know, I'm still in a very tight space with my vehicle and stuff and I just can't pop up and be there for people and and the truth was it's like well actually this person needs to get up and come to me now um, needs to take the initiative and save themselves I'm here for you in fact if you knew the real life of what was happening with me and it's still happening I'm clearing out a lot of things for something somebody to come here just I'm clearing out I love it. It's just like I'm able to do it now, even through if nothing's got better. I have not making any money and wasn't able to pay my taxes and bills and shit. I'm just it's just a process that now finally we're able to start seeing what to do next. And for me, it's to continue to little by little keep creating space for your new life, which involves new people, new love or other people or whatever, you know, just there's an availability going to happen. Well, you see, um, well, narcissists, who cares about that? Who cares about your life, right? You just said so much about your life that they they just rolled their eyes. And so now um, it's a big projection. Now, um, if you get closer and closer, you know, if you have any association, you're in danger because you're going to be scapegoated or targeted as being irresponsible you're the irresponsible one or what else what i'm experiencing is, is what i'm experiencing is that oh no no she was she couldn't handle it all of these things that she ended up saying the way that she reacted well the way that i reacted i was in pain too i'm pretty sure i reached out for help first but really it's like okay let's look at the bigger picture nobody's being present to each other why am i worried about People that aren't even here in my life. I'm not going to let it get to fucking where, oh my God, am I kidding me? When I saw that somebody was on Facebook for 12 years, and this was like six years ago, I was like, man, look at that lame fucking person. I mean, I'm not saying, okay, that they think that their life is on Facebook, but really it's like, Look at this lame humanity. Ten years have gotten behind me, really. It's like all of a sudden I'm getting gray, and it's like the only good thing is just like I've been well-preserved sitting in this fucking timeless coffin, you know. And the efforts that we are making on FB or over social media in general, you know, it's like only God is going to see that and say, yeah, you know, you really did try to tell people that I existed, didn't you? You get an A+. plus. That's the only real use for SM is to remind everybody daily on a daily basis. You know, first of all, there is a real life. The living body of Christ is now. You want to you wanna ever re be reborn? Turn off your mind, relax, and flow downstream. It is not dying. 
It is not dying. Lay down your laws, surrender to the void. It is shining. It is shining. We were talking about the space between us all and the people who hide themselves behind the wall of illusion. Never glimpse the truth, and it's far too late when they pass away. Yeah. Zanzara, Zanzara, Zanzara. Oh, come with me.